Hi everyone, my name is Jarek from Genius Gecko, and in this video we're gonna talk about big picture scenarios, what they allow you to do and what are their limitations. So if you've ever been in a situation where you had to change your plan due to, for example, changing circumstances, and there were actually several options how you could change the plan, you might, you might have been tempted to just move the issues around here in big picture, but there are problems with that because each change done in life scenario in big picture is done also on issue level. And each change may actually impact multiple issues. So if we change uh, end date of this issue, other issues that are dependent on, that, that have dependency with this issue will also be impacted. So that kind of uh, checking which option would be better can be a bit tricky because it has very unforeseen consequences. We do not really know uh, what all the issues that will be changed and we do not know how it will impact, for example, our resource plan because we may have been okay in a previous plan but after moving this one and triggering change in dozens of other issues suddenly we are over allocating certain resources under allocating others and it's a mess what's worse it is not always easy to get back to previous state of our plan here i have pretty simple situation all my issues are connected with uh, asap dependencies so if i make it shorter the dependent issues are pulled together with with this one but this is not always the case in, and this is only one of multiple things that may not be easily re reversible. So this is exactly scenario for which, well, big picture scenarios were created. Scenarios are available over here on the top left and you can see that currently we are on live scenario. That means that all the changes that we're doing over here will be synchronized with Jira issues so everything will be uh, impacting the issues. But now we can create a new scenario let's keep it private and now you can see I am in the demo scenario. I can still modify start and end date of issues you will see that it, have Im it has impact on other issues but these changes are not reflected actually on Jira issue. So I can switch over here to live scenario and you will see that change I just did in demo scenario is not uh, visible over here. Let's go back to demo scenario and it is here. Uh, I could do multiple changes so I could move this issue around, I could move this issue around and all these changes will be visible here in change log, right? So I can click, see what was exactly changed, which issue was changed, and what are the other issues that were impacted. Uh, so this is already pretty nice because, yeah, I can do the changes, see what is happening, what other issues are uh, being impacted, and in turn decide whether this is okay or not. What is more, Scenarios does not allow us only to move the tasks on the timeline, but they are available ac across multiple modules. So we can switch to resources and see how our new plan looks like from resource perspective. So we can see that all these tasks were assigned to me. I'm not over allocated anywhere. So that's good from that perspective plan could be approved. Although I am under allocated on the majority of timeline, but that's in the past, so we shouldn't really worry about that anymore. So, so far it looks great, right? We can do any change in our plan without really impacting underlying issues, see what's the best path for us and decide which option to pick and do the update to issues then, uh, right? Not really, there are sadly some limitations. Let's talk about those. Uh, so first of all, you can see that some of the options in many are grayed out over here. We cannot create new issues here, right? So in, in scenario mode, no new issues are allowed. We cannot create new dependencies between the tasks. Yep, I try and right away I get error that this is not supported. 
possibility of editing the task is very, very limited. So what we can do is we can obviously change the start end date. Uh, in resource module, we can change assignee by, by dragging the task from one swim, swim lane to another. We can change period mode, estimate, summary, but that's basically it. So there will be a lot of situations, especially, for example, you want to uh, create new tasks or even set of tasks with new dependencies because there is piece of work uh, that needs to be handled that we did not predict earlier and that you need to plan now uh, that won't be possible in scenario mode. And there are workarounds that be used in that kind of situations, but they are really dependent on what your problem is. So, and the approaches can be different. So if, it, if this is something you encounter, uh, reach out to us, we will help you. Okay, so that's it when it comes to this video. I hope you find, found it useful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and see you in the next video.